Good afternoon, all you wonderful Hidden Rich Spinners. It is I, Gilbert Sullivan, here with another amazing Meet the Team interview. With me today is David. David, talk to the good people what you do here. Okay, I'm executive producer on the Hidden Rich team, uh, responsible for making sure that all the cool features and games go out on time so you guys can enjoy them. Uh, yeah, it's nice and easy. So if you guys have any features you would really like to see in our game, any, any suggestions as, as far as that, uh, let, let them know. Let, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure. I promise David will see him. So there you go, you're, you're lying at the top. We are going to learn four new things about David. David, David, first question, what is the first game you ever played? <laughs> Uh, I, Pong was probably the first game I've ever played. Sure. Yeah. On a little two two knob dial yeah. system yeah. back in the, the day. At the arcades too. Ooh, not, not even not even the whole Atari one. You went okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, question number two: If you could visit any time period in history, mm. what period would you visit? And we're not going to make you worry about the diseases or the calamities of the time <laughs> period. So more of a of an historical perspective. Where would wow. you go? Wow. Yeah, that's good. Career. Never thought about that. There's so many times. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe Renaissance. Uh, sure. Yeah. Renaissance Italy. So you're going back in the day. Yeah, not not too far back, but just just back when. It was solid, solid back. I mean, there's a lot of fantastic things going on back then. So yeah, that's exactly. a good answer. Yeah. So yeah, good. Um, number two, if you could visit any planet in the solar system, which would you visit? <laughs> and luckily, you don't need to rationalize this because there's no real rationale for any of it. So if, if one sticks out in your mind, if I'll just, I'll just go to Mars because I think I'd actually be able to like, you know, stand up there. And That's true. You, you always go to science because the gravity's not going to compress you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never want to be compressed in jelly. No. And final question. If you could learn any, lang well, any language, which would you learn? I guess, preface, do you speak any other languages? Not really. I know a little Spanish, but okay. yeah, not, not enough. Yeah, I, I was never good at languages. I, I tried. I studied German in high school, and I studied Latin in college, and just never took really. But you get to pick one in this fictitious interview to learn. What are you going to pick? You know, uh, probably Japanese. Sure. So many people that I've worked with uh, speak Japanese. I've always wished that I would be able to, you know, have a good conversation with them too. Absolutely. Have you been to Japan? I haven't been to Japan yet. No. A very happy place. All right, good. David. Thank you so much for thank joining you, us. Uh, ever, anybody, if you have any comments or questions for David, leave them in the comments below. I will make sure they get to him. And we hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye, everyone. Thanks, guys.